Hello and welcome once again. This is part 3 of JUnit video series by One Test Solution. In this session, we'll talk about JUnit annotation. I would highly recommend to part 2 before watching this video. So the first annotation that we are going to talk about is at the rate before. Let's say there are some scenarios or the precondition that has to be executed before every test. So what we can do is we can write that line of code under at the rate before. Basically, this is one of the best way to implement initialization algorithm. For example, test data setup. If we are writing the functional automation test, so we may have to initiate browser instance every time before the test runs. So what we can do is we can write those lines of code under at the rate before. It is one of the best way to remove the code redundancy. So let's see this in action. So this is the previous test that we have written. Initialize uh, balance is zero. And then other test that we had written was when making a deposit balance increases by that amount. Now here what basically is happening is for each of the test we are initializing customer object right now this is just one line but there will be a situation where we may repeat multiple lines of code in every test so what we can do is we can move this line of code under an annotation called as at the rate before so what will happen is before any test runs at the rate before is going to call okay so what we need to do is first we need to create a static variable um, static object for bank operation class and then what I will do is I will go ahead and write at the rate before we'll go ahead and import this and then I will write public void let's say initialize customer nice customer and what I will do is I will go ahead and instantiate this customer object inside this so customer is equals bank customer sorry customer is equals to new bank customer bank operation sorry goes to new bank operation and what I will do is I will go ahead and comment these lines so this is how we can remove the code redundancy now what will happen is before any test runs either initialize balance test or when making a deposit test before that this method is going to get called so it will initialize the customer object and it will run this test then second time again it will initialize the customer object and it will run for run this test so let's see this in action right click run as junit test you see both the tests been passed what i will do is i will decorate this test so that we see how many times this has been executed right here dot out dot print and I'll write here at the rate before that's called okay now ideally this test is going this energy uh, this particular method is going to be called two times so we should be able to see this message twice so let's run this again okay see here at the at the rate before gets called one time and other time it has this has been printed okay if you go here J unit you will see the outcome of this test so this is one of the best way where we can implement initialization algorithm for example if there are there are tests that take some test data as an argument and before that test runs we have to make sure we get that data let's say we have to connect to the database and extract the data and supply that data to my test method so we can always use 
initialization uh, uh, we can always use at the at the read before annotation likewise there is another annotation called as uh, at the read after so what this will do is at the read after annotation will be called after each and every test so i will go ahead and implement at the read after as well public void let's say i want to do some cleanup activity so i will write here cleanup tests okay i will go and import this here i will just simply go ahead and print a message right here after it called it's called okay you can use ln okay now what will happen is this at this method test cleanup method will be called twice one for this test and second time for this test so let's run this as well j unit test okay you see first this was called at the read before for this method immediately after that at the read after gets called for the same method so that's how we are able to see this first line and then for this method first at the read before gets called and then at the read after get called now the advantage of using at the read after is again the same as that of at the read before we can reduce the code dependency we can do cleanup activities for example destroying the object or uh, let's say if my script is creating that some data in my database once the execution is done my job will be to clean that data so i can go and write my cleanup tests here okay so we have seen the implementation of at the read before likewise we have also seen the implementation of after so this method gets called after every test it's a good way to implement the cleanup algorithm as at the read before this also removes the code redundancy we can set post condition for a test for example reporting engine capturing the diagnostic data all those can be a good example to implement under this annotation thanks for watching this uh, please go ahead and subscribe one test solution for latest updates